I was working on a motorcycle over there. We heard a pickup truck pull up by the back door. The ML, as normal, when we hear somebody pull up, they might be dropping something off or picking something up. He went out the back door. A few seconds later, ML came through the back door backwards. I saw that the shooter had a gun present. He looked at me. I looked at my son who was standing over here. I told him to leave. He went out the front door. Then I came over and kind of we all gathered right here. He started making his demands, which were pretty unclear at the time. He wanted me to call a friend of ours, and I did that. And I told a friend. What's up, Otis? That'd be Hillbilly. Bang. He said, uh, I told him, don't you come down here. You call the police right now. And he did that, and then my phone was connected with his for the next three hours. Um, at the time, the shooter, we had his mo motorcycle that he sold, and we were doing work on it through another customer. He saw it on the lift. He made me take it off the lift and begin to put it back together by gunpoint so he could load it in his truck, supposedly. I did as I was told. Um, I kind of ran out of stuff, you know, you can't put it back together in 20 minutes. And uh, I heard a, a loud diesel come down the alley and I was over there. So I would be between the shooter and the door. And I, um, I knew I kind of had to get out of the way. I said, I want to take a drink of my soda. I went over here and sat at the lunch counter and I smoked a cigarette and I wasn't even through with it when the back door opened. I saw the police shield come through. I heard, uh, police, drop your gun, drop your gun. I got down on the floor and went behind the counter. It, it, immediately the gunfire erupted. Uh, it hit a fire extinguisher that used to hang here. That caused the mess all over and smoke. I couldn't see anything, I couldn't breathe. I, at that time I was assuming the SWAT team would come around the corner and secure me or whatever. I then heard the shooter, uh, uh, I, I still heard him talking and I couldn't believe it. I thought, where are the cops, you know? Um, uh, um, he, he said, he said, I'm all alone in here, I'm all alone in here. That's when Mike, the other hostage, said, I'm still here. And I thought, well, okay. I stood up from behind the counter. I said, I'm, I'm still here. He said, uh, you two MFers, get out of here. And then he walked us by gunpoint to the door. And then I went outside. And I saw him out laying in the alley. Uh, and then I was taken to the right behind Gord's and then I was put in a police car along with Mike in a separate car and that's all I saw.